My life was chaos. There was no structure, no discipline. There was no happiness. It was wake up, get high, and then start searching for more money to get high. It was a cycle. I was doing pretty good. And I, I lost my sister. My sister had epilepsy, and that's what killed her. From then on, I just felt like it was my fault. And I felt like drugs was gonna help it. I was hunting for that high, those drugs, that liquor. I was looking for money, something to steal so I could go make money to get drugs. I think what really broke it was I wanted my daughter back. She was the reason I wanted to do better. One day I decided it was it. That was the day, it's, it's gonna happen. Stepped in those doors and it's completely changed my life. Glad everybody could make it today. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get into check-ins. If you guys could share how your weeks have been and a goal that you're working towards this week. No, I'm uh... My week's been good. And after she started going to groups, she quit needing to get high. Something was satisfied. Everybody in the office, they wanted to help. They wanted to bring joy to me again. She started going, and I seen the change it made in her life. And then I talked to my probation officer, my house arrest officer at the time, and I pitched him the idea because I've never really been successful without help like this, and he gave me the okay. Suboxone has helped me not feel like I need to use anymore. It makes me feel clear-headed. The medicine part of it is, is great, but it's not as powerful as all of our experiences helping each other. I've seen them grow, they've seen me grow, they've, they've seen me through sickness, they've seen me through losing jobs. We've all seen it and we've all been open and honest and that's how we're still sober this long. I started believing in myself. I'd never had that before. I've seen JD go through some massive growth in his career, where he is now, where he's actively managing and and designing the menu at a, a local restaurant where he's able to truly explore his passion. It's my kitchen. And that's all I've ever wanted was my kitchen. To walk out of work at the end of the night and know that I touched somebody just by, you know, how good my food was. Yeah, that's an awesome feeling. Yeah, JD, I'm really glad you reached out. Um, we are, we're here to help. I get all the support that groups offers. I get the crisis line. You know, I have Sean's phone number. I have the office phone number. There's always somebody available. No matter, no matter what, it might be midnight, I can call the crisis line. If it wasn't for groups, I would eat easily be back in prison if I wouldn't have died on the streets by now. I mean, this sounds cheesy probably, but my biggest accomplishment is my relationship with Jonna. Right. I love you. I love you too. She's the biggest prize in all this, I think. Happiness, like she makes me happy. She's, she's everything. Words can't express what I feel about her. While I was using, I, I could not do something like this at all. Flowers, nothing. I was too selfish to do anything like that. So being able to do this is a nice reminder of how I'm clean and sober. Now, after I've been to groups, I got my daughter back. Thank you, 
I feel like I can be a parent and a really good parent. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe give her an egg. I've got something to live for, things to live for. <laughs> My mom is very proud of me. She can never be more proud of me. She tells me that every day. Uh, it makes me feel like fireworks explode inside of me. And I just want to jump up and do back handsprings. <laughs> <laughs>